These are actually some pretty sturdy structures, suggesting to us that T-Rex actually did use those arms. And now the argument that Tyrannosaurus traded arms for heads over the ages, culminating in T-Rex, is being challenged by a startling new find. A more ancient, miniature, would-be T-Rex. The creature, though only about 10 feet long, has already started trading arms for head 60 million years before Tyrannosaurus Rex. We have found the Ur Tyrannosaur, the roots of the Tyrannosaur radiation, an animal that has all the features that we think are truly characteristic of Tyrannosaurs, the two-fingered hand, the enlarged brain, the enlarged jaw muscles, the long and lanky legs for running, the tiny arms, we're gonna call it Raptor Rex. The find is so new that Paul Serino has had time only to model Raptor Rex's head and neck. Not as fearsome as T-Rex's, perhaps, but clearly a ferocious profile. But it's the tiny arms that upset the apple cart. This was supposed to be a much later development. Everywhere you looked, you found the features which we know characterize the later Tyrannosaurus uh, in, in the late Cretaceous. They're no longer alone in having arms so small they couldn't reach the mouth or pick the nose. In other words, if Tyrannosaurus